Good morning, good morning, and welcome back to Small Project Alert. So on this episode, it's going to be a long one, so I hope you enjoy it. I have this old dress that came back, and it's so pretty, but the customer who actually bought it needed to elongate the torso, and I need to restone it. So let me show you. I actually get to remake one of the brooches this one here on the top because even through wear and tear in our try on phase the, the the what is this um i forgot what it's called the interfacing that i use just couldn't stand the test of time if as you can see so i need to figure out a way to reinforce this so i'm just gonna remake the whole thing this episode of small project alert and i'm working on this beautiful gown that i did a couple months ago it came back for alterations let me show you so we added a panel on the tummy here and I'm just gonna bring these lines all the way back down. They added a sleeve over here. I might just frame the bottom or bring some lines going up like this. They added a cute little hang off the shoulder. I'll bring some lines going up to match the sleeve and a more modesty panel in the back. And I don't know what I'm going to do with that. Maybe bring some lines down. I don't know. But this is the alteration. Small project alert. It's really a big project, to be honest. But we're about to get into it. Well, now that I got everything trade up, the first thing I'm going to do is go in and clean up all this glue all the way around and i just found the extra fringe that was hanging around the waistline so i gotta reinstall those too Alright, so I cleaned all the glue off as far as it's going to go, as clean as it's going to be. And now what I'm going to do is go in with my marker and chalk out some lines, or mark out some lines to continue them down in this torso area. Ooh, that is going to be a feat in itself. But it's gorgeous, it's gorgeous, it's gorgeous. New life. A little bit different with the sleeve and this little hanging shoulder drape. But it's still the same dress, it's still gorgeous. All right, so it is looking seamless. I love it, I love it, I love it. It's coming together. I just wanted to show you this first section I just did looks good you can't even see the break right there but from afar you can't even see it
And for the most part, I finished the front of the bodice and I need to fill in the back. So our alterations girl actually added a whole panel to the back right here on both sides. So I gotta do that. She added this cute little off the shoulder drape. It has some fringe, see that? Super cute. So I need to stone that strap, put back on, where is it at? The, the most beautiful spark that I made, hence the name of the dress. This here, this goes back on the hip and it's gonna be so cute. See the front is already completely done. I elongated all of the lines to try to cover the seam and you can't even see it, I love it about right there i'll play with the placement but it was kind of offset on the hip i just got to look at the video again to find its perfect placement and that will be done i actually love this little addition that she added here this drape that's gonna just slightly hang over her shoulder with the fringe down i have it tucked in that's why it looks the fringe looks draped like that but it goes straight down like this it's pretty though so let me get to it. Oh, there's a sleeve. There's a quarter sleeve right above the, what is that? Right above, right below her elbow. It's cute. A lot of stoning. This took a whole day just to do this whole front side. It really did. But it came out good. Hey, welcome back to live Q&A. Come on by. I'm going to be talking about this beautiful pink smooth here with these. Mm, I love the fabric of these pleats and it's a small project. I don't know if you remember me doing this dress a couple of months ago. The torso was about here and they elongated it because the customer said that the line just didn't hit her in the right spot. So what I did was completely re-embellish all of the alteration. I still have tons to do and I wanna talk about it so we can figure out what we can do to fix this problem in the future. So come on down, bring your questions. It's a really cute dress. Um, you can always ask any kind of questions about anything ballroom. I'm always available. If you need coaching, please email me at wisetiffanysotalented at gmail.com and come on by 12 o'clock. Okay, so we're on to the back and the way that I originally stoned it, I brung this square line around the shoulder strap. But since in this alteration, she got a modesty panel put in because she didn't want that much of her back showing. It was, look, as you can see, it's it was really deep. Like this was where the dress stopped. So it was just this little bit of space and the bottom of the dress was pulled up to this line here. So got glue all over my fingers already. <laughs> so what she did was add a modesty panel here in the back which kind of makes it difficult for me because as you see i prung the squares around the strap here so what i'm going to do is split the squares here at this line and just bring it up in a straight line because if i don't do that then i'm gonna have to take all of this off and reconfigure and we're not doing that and here it is the elusive transition into the v to split the line and still make it look cohesive and like everything is just running into each other. I think it looks good from my lap. Now let me stand up and we can see if it looks good standing. I think it looks good from afar. That way I'm able to continue my lines going straight and not around this curve here because you see how it was attached right here. That's why this line of squares is going around the strap. But I, that's about as good as it's going to get. I think it blends well 
with the rest of the dress. See how there's arches over here as well. Those were already there. So we just continue the kind of arch detail around the back. Oh my gosh, girly is stiff today. Let's just turn it like that. All right, so I think it looks good. Mm -hmm. So what I'm gonna do now is focus on filling this in and then we're gonna move into this into this stringy fringy strap here hanging down and then lastly we'll jump into this sleeve here before we start the small project the double small pro the small project inside of the small project which will be to replace this brooch here on the top of the shoulder so we're going to completely replace that uh, and I don't think the rest, the other two need replacing. I think this one is holding up pretty well. I, I might put a bar just behind it to make sure because you see like this one is moving just a little bit too much for my comfort. And I don't know how the longevity is going to be with it just doing that. So I'm, I might put a bar behind there. Do that sleeve. Mm, I think that one is fine this one this one is fine so let me jump right back into these lines on the back All right so one half is done I think it flows very nicely um, from up close you can see the transition between this little Y in the squares but let's look at it from afar I think from afar you, you won't be able to tell no nope. just looks like a bunch of lines mm-hmm mm -hmm. gorgeous and more gorgeous all right the only problem that I foresee honestly is I want to move this brooch here from the shoulder up higher on the strap only because I feel like you kind of lose the bottom of it into the lines or maybe even turn it turn it and kind of angle it you see where this line is for the top of the back and kind of angle it across the top like that yeah I think that's what I'm gonna do and just kind of angle it up so it'll end up taking over this whole space here because you just kind of lose it you do you lose it in the distance and I don't look it's completely gone I don't want to lose it in the distance so we're gonna move that as well Oh, and I forgot about the fringe. So, you know, at the bottom of each one of these, well, not each one, but every couple of few, there's fringe that matches the fringe here on the split that went all the way around the torso. So we got to add those back too. Were you there? Did you catch the lie? Did you check it out? Hmm? Well, this is what I did on the lie. Let me let you get into it. So, remember I was telling you I needed to add the fringe back down the pleats. So that is what I did on the live. All the way around the gown and it looks gorgeous. It just elongates the lines down past the torso into the leg. I love how some of them are long. I love how some of them are short. It accentuates this split right here that could possibly be a little too center. I don't know, maybe it should be over here. I don't know, that's not my area. I stick to the stones. <laughs> so, this is what I did. If you missed the live, this is what I did. This is what you missed. I got to re-add all of my beautiful French pieces back on. It looks lovely. I would love for you to come to the live Q&As 
just so you can ask and i'm sure you have questions even if it's just questions for me and not necessarily about the dress but questions like how i got into the industry and what do i love about my job just any kind of questions like that as long as it's um revolving around the main topic which is embellishing and crystals you know but come to the live q a next week this is what you'll miss i'm always doing some form of short tutorial until i gain a large audience that actually wants to ask questions and i can answer them but for now short tutorials it is it's done so i finished the entire bag you know in the original video for this dress i did do a disclaimer or saying that i am not perfect at doing straight lines but for the most part this is what you get and i think it is good enough it's lovely and i even got the sleeve done for you so all i really did was just exaggerate the lines up all the way to the elbow did you i used those cute little squares to frame it added one line of the squares going up and the rest in all of the other coordinating colors i think this is gorgeous so now what i'm going to do is i decided to not recreate this whole piece just because some of these stones in the size 12s we don't have so what i'm going to do is take a few off of the back and then just like i said i was going to create a brace on the back of this one that brace technique i'm gonna do on these two as well on well, on this one as well just because i i don't want to have to make remake the whole thing when i feel like a brace will do i can just throw an arch here in pink so everything is still color coordinated and it will keep everything nice and straight for the longevity of the dress i'm gonna move this one up like i said i was and right now we're gonna jump into this drape this shoulder drape here and i'm gonna just do the same thing as i did here i'm probably just gonna frame the top in the rectangle well, in the squares and then use jagged edge lines going down all right so i went sans the squares frame and just threw one line of the squares down the center of this drape and draped out the rest with all the lines in the according colors it's cute very 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 cute oh this is coming out so pretty so this is what it's looking like when it's gonna be draped off of the side of her shoulder with the fringe you see the other sleeve is done as well i don't know why she just didn't get two of these though that would have been really cute but to each his own what i'm doing is creating a arch for the back of this brooch piece it's gonna sit right behind i'm gonna frame it in some of the pink tones but right now i just cut this arch piece out of some loose interfacing here and i'm gonna just cover it over not like that but more like this so and then you want to just kind of slide the glue down and then form it into that shape you want to form your piece of fabric around that shape let it dry then we'll cut it and place it behind the old brooch and now I'm gonna do the same thing and make one for this bigger piece this is the shape I got I might cut it down just a little thinner because once I wrap the fabric around it, it's going to give it an extra millimeter of fabric space. So I might cut it down just a little bit thinner. But for the most part, that is where we're going with this arch. So you can see it's about right there. It's going to just sit right behind. I want it to be a little higher. Let me move this placement up. A little higher more like that 
because I wanted to catch these ones at the top while the this one is the most flimsy all of these need to really just be anchored down just so longevity persists and I don't want them to eventually get wonky so similar to the last piece that's over here I'm just gonna glue this piece down throw some more glue on top and fold it over All right so I cut the fabric in the shape that I need and I'm just gonna fold that over can't do it with one hand so I'm gonna fold that over and it'll come out like this this is for the smaller one this one is almost dry we're gonna fold this lip here up and fold those in to create a seamless look for our arch in the back and that is how you make what is it brooch art support <laughs> a brooch art support hmm say that five times brooch arch support <laughs> All the folding over, excuse my desk, this is a workshop and things get messy. But after all the folding over and all the gluing down, I'm gonna let this dry before I try to add it to my brooches. And while we're waiting on that, we're gonna jump into this here. Doing this shoulder piece and that's gonna be so cute so let's do it okay so i got the brace on i pinned each one of the sparks to the brace but it's looking like this one spark right here is a little wonky still so i was thinking about just redoing this middle panel and just making it just a little bit bigger to kind of enforce this area over here. Hmm. I don't know. What you want to do is cut out your shape, glue it to your fabric. Now we're going to glue the fabric to the other side of it as well. All right, so it's nice and you know what I'm tired of saying. All right, so <laughs> in the beginning of every clip. <laughs> <laughs> but all right <laughs> so i covered that piece of interfacing it's just gonna sit right on top just to give it a little bit more stability i have glue all over my fingers but again this is a I, i'm a working woman i actually do work and i'm gonna cover this piece which is a bigger one for more stability for some of these looser sparks around the sides, just to make sure that it has its long job. I've got my pins sitting on top of it to add some added weight to make sure that it all lays perfectly flat, just the way that I want it to. And now let's work on this smaller brooch. For this one, I'm gonna have to take some of the stones off on the back so i can add the brooch uh, well i can add this arch it's nice and dry too so for this one i took a few of the stones off and i had to pin it down to something flat well something soft and kind of flat so i can make sure that i remove all of the curves so now i'm gonna place my brooch arch and I did chop it in half because this one was a little too wide the other one is good for this one but for the tiny brooch that was a little too wide so I cut it in half and I'm gonna place it just in between where you see the stones are missing about right there and we'll see how that comes out and here is the brace so that is done and we're gonna just let that dry i will put the stones back on and we're gonna let that dry for about an hour and then flip it over 
make sure that everything is nice and straight and not curly and put it back on the dress let me check these over here they feel like they're dry but let's pull the pins out and really see all right so it is dry enough at least the brace is dry this extra added support for the rest of the sparks are st is still a little wet as you can see but i stoned it so while it's hanging over you could still see a little bit of sparkle from the back but for the most part this goes right here and you can't even see the brace perfect perfect perfecto all right now let's go into this one all right, so this one is good as well. I just put some stones on the brace in the back because that one is popping over the shoulder. It's really cute, just like this. You can't even see the brace unless it's going over like that and that's not how it was. It really was up more like this, but because the brace is there, I'm gonna bring it down just to the top of the shoulder just like that so it looks like that brace line falls in line with that shoulder line right there and it is perfect so let's do an install we'll mention to this gown over here it is just so beautiful to me oh, I can't wait to get back to it so let me finish this one so I can the small project is finally done isn't it gorgeous and look you can't even see the braces that i added on to the beautiful brooches that i made at all from a distance look at that from afar even if you get really close up on it you still really can't see it because the placement that i put it is perfect thank you so much for watching again if you have any questions um, if you feel like you know some other cool techniques that I could try, go ahead and email them to me at wisetiffanysotalented at gmail.com. If you feel like you need any level of coaching, feel free to email me at wisetiffanysotalented at gmail.com. And make sure that if you like what I do and you have friends that are in the same field, in the same niche, share it with them. Thanks for watching.